and welcome to Thyrus Web Development Tips and Tutorials. As you know, PHP 8 has been released and there are some great new features. This video is about the new match expression that is a good replacement to the switch statement in some cases. So we will see how exactly match works, how it's better than switch in some cases and also when not to use it. So how does it work? This is best explained with an example in comparison to switch statement. So let's see this classic use case of switch statement. It checks for grade A, B, C or F and returns a message, which is later printed here. You can see the output. We also have a default case here. You see, this is quite long and we need to assign the value in every case. So the good news is that the new match expression can do this in a much neater way and in fewer lines of code. Let me comment all of this and show you how it's done. Message equals match dollar grade and within curly braces, A excellent, B good and so on. We also have a default case. Let's run the code. Yes, this works. So you see, it's neater and has lesser lines of code. But that's not it. It's better in some more ways. Number one, as against switch, match returns a value. So you don't have to assign it in every single case. Of course, it's not mandatory to assign a value. Instead, you can do something like this. Let me comment out message and replace this with a function like print good. I could add a function here and print the message within this. Let's run this. It works the same. So you saw that you don't have to use the return value, but it does return anyway. Number two, while using switch, you might forget break sometimes. For example, let's say we forgot to add the break statement here after C and let grade be C. Now the message becomes fail because we forgot break. But with match that doesn't happen because by default every arm is separated by a break. You don't have to add it explicitly. Point number three. You can match multiple values at once like this, C, D, and I can say can do better for both of them. Let me change the grade to D and run this. So you see that it works for multiple values. Point number four, match uses a very strict type comparison. So for example, if we replace all of this with one, two, three, and four instead, and zero in case of fail, and let the grade be one without the single quotes. So that's an integer, and here we are taking characters, it does not match, it says result pending. But in case of switch, it's not very strict, so it matches anyway. In some cases, this is beneficial, but it might lead to some errors. Point number five, if we forget adding a default statement in switch, and let's say we pass an empty value, which doesn't match any of the cases, we don't get an error, we just get a warning. But in case of match, if we skip the default statement, it actually gives an error uncaught unhandled match error and this is good because you can catch bugs earlier so looking at all these you might wonder do we need switch statement at all yes we do with match you cannot have multiple expressions in one arm like this you cannot assign it a value and call a function but in switch you can do this you can call a function here you can also do something else and something else and so on. You can have multiple actions, multiple expressions, but in case of match, you can't do this. That's about it. Hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank you for watching. 
hit a like and share this video ahead. If you enjoyed watching this, don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notifications so you won't miss a single video from Tyrus.